We must always push the limits. If we never fail, we will never succeed. Not too bad of a spot. I will definitely go back there and get some more material. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's always good to see each and every one of you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see today and you decide to subscribe. I am here at the Arkansas River and it's not in Arkansas. I'm in Colorado, north of Buena Vista, which is known to have lots of gold. That's what I'm going to be doing in this video. The runoff season is over, so all the water has lowered. As you can see, this river is not gushing and flowing like it normally does. It's late August. Now is a good time to get down where the gold is versus where I have in the past is up here along the shore. So I'm gonna get my waders on. That water is super ice cold and that will allow me to get into deeper parts of the river where the gold has settled, increasing our chances of finding some really good gold. If you'd like to see more videos of me finding gold, be sure and drop a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Here's the inside bend. You can see right there, it makes the bend. So I'm going to walk up there, get some samples. I'll be using my number eight classifier. It's around a quarter inch holes. Screens or classifiers, you know, this is a classifier. I'm looking at a camera that allows you to look at the screen. You know, a screen maybe a screen door if you're using screen doors for your classifiers that's not very smart eventually it's going to break this right here is stainless steel um, i bought these at the rock dock just uh i believe it's south of buena vista go visit the rock dock they've got all types of mining equipment for gold so these are really handy when you're doing the gold mining you just put these over your bucket shove your material in like you've seen me do before but yeah don't use screen okay get you a classifier and if you go to the description below you can actually purchase my classifiers that I make and when I get to 10,000 views on a video we've reached a 10,000 subscriber mark now I just need to see some 10,000 view videos like I used to average once we get those I'll give away a set of my DMI light series classifiers. Put a bucket of material at a time and before you know it you're at the Crater Diamonds you've got all your material you can carry out in a day. So they're really handy they speed up the process working material and you'll even increase your diamond count, gemstones, whether it's gold. They work for everything. Native artifacts, uh, shark's teeth, you name it they do it all. Okay, I'm ready. Geared up. That water is so cold, my hands are gonna freeze. Whoa! That uh, deep, real quick. So you want to find a place to set your bucket, or it's not gonna fall over. All right, that'll break down my uh, material. All right. Time to get some material. There we go. It's a nice pile of rocks. Alright, first pan of the trip. Finally getting my pan wet. I've been wanting to get my pan wet for like, what was it? June since I was in Colorado. Always good to get the pan wet. check out all these rocks there's quartz 
piece of quartz. All right, I'm gonna pan this out and I'll bring y'all back in. I just finished the first pan and we have some gold. It's gonna be really hard to see with this camera, but it's right up there in the, right up in there. A little bitty, small, tiny piece. But there's a lot more in here, guys. Look at all this black sand. So I will we'll run this through the blue bowl because it's going to take forever to go through all that. So I'm just going to dump this in my bucket and we'll keep getting material. We are seeing gold right there. Man, I'm so stoked that I found gold in my first pan. I haven't seen that much black sand ever in one pan but anyways we found some gold here over here in this inside bin i'm going to keep working that try to get some material moved and we'll do a final cleanup at the end of this video so be sure and hang around see how much gold we actually get Okay, as long as there's material here, I'm gonna keep getting it. It's just loaded with black sand and all kinds of, wow. Oh, I don't wanna go in the water. And I did, ow. Ow, my wrist. I'm okay, just caught myself. <laughs> using my wrist as a twisted tootsie roll okay the good news is I'm dry oh yeah check out all that black sand what the I didn't want with some small stuff. And get the material that's in front of that huge rock. About half a bucket. I'm gonna take it on up to the truck, the other one, and I may come back down here and get a couple more. Okay, it's time to now take the buckets back to camp, get the blue bowl set up, and see what kind of gold we got. Okay, we got thunderstorms instantly formed right behind me, got lightning and thunder so i'm going to pack it up we got two buckets out which roughly almost a half a bucket each so one bucket of worked material through a number eight classifier so we'll take that back to camp we'll set up the blue bowl and that'll work all the black sand out for us automatically really cool i better pack up and get out of here that just came out of nowhere Is that a horse? Looks like two legs. There's the head. Oh my gosh, the flying horse. There's its wings. It's like it's got a diamond on top of its head. Working the cons. Check out all this black sand. So much black sand. We're gonna get some gold. I have a good feeling.
All the material has been classified. Here's our plus material and here's the minus. <laughs> so much black sand. It's loaded. And here is the material that did not go through the classifier. Full of quartz, mica, iron, so many minerals in here. Okay, we're on the first scoop of material and I'm already seeing some gold. A little bit of gold showing up. Just a few scoops. There's a nice couple small flakes. We still have quite a few scoops to go. I would say at least eight. Okay, before it starts to rain, I'm gonna take this larger material and use my Saruka and concentrate all the heavy minerals, whether it be the iron, garnets, a gold nugget, will all concentrate into the center. And when I flip it over, if there's a gold nugget or a garnet, it'll be sitting right there on top just like at the diamond mine because the gold is so much heavier than all this other rocks and minerals. I have a couple rubber mats I brought that I'm gonna uh, flip my centers onto. You might see a big giant gold nugget. We'll call that enough. You don't want too much. You need the material to be able to move. Give it a good bounce, gets everything settled to the bottom. Good to let the water drain. See what we got? Oh, nice. See the iron right in here. I could have used a little bit more material. All types of iron like crazy. There's a garnet right there. Let's get the other camera and take a look at that garnet. There's several right in there. Check that one out, right above my finger. Really cool to do this. That almost looks like a diamond. Right there. The tip of my finger. Whoa, that would be cool. So yeah, it's always fun to do is get your garnets might even get a gold nugget or a small picker just made the second flip and i'm seeing some crazy stuff in this one look right here above my finger almost looks like a diamond Lots of garnet. Check out all those garnets. Everywhere, garnet, 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 garnet. There's another one. Take all these sitters home and go through them. Never know what's in them. Flipping it on that other pile created a shock absorber. So there's less cavities. It took all the impact. Therefore we have better packed centers. Here is the gold I recovered out of those few buckets of material. That might make the scale move, but not much. I don't think it's worth weighing. 
not too bad of a spot. I will definitely go back there and get some more material.